You want, you want me to go? You want to go? <laughs> oh, come on. I, wait, I didn't actually want to go. <laughs> All right, whatever. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of The Perks and Paving. Today, we have a very special edition of our episode. Today, it's just me and my bride, Paige. I thought you were going to say very special guest. I'm like, we don't no. have a guest today. No. Always it's listening. Surprise. Dude. It's our first solo episode. Yeah. With our third wheel, Jesse Fresh, over in the corner on the controls. But yeah. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. It took 22 episodes for... 22. Oh. That's it. Feels like we just started doing this yesterday. So. Really, I feel like we've been doing this forever. No, I even though I don't feel like I have the experience to account for doing it for yeah. forever. But I don't have the same nerves I have anymore. But yeah, it's kind of like part of our routine now a little bit. But yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, it's it's uh crazy that we we got that text from Trisha and Tony yesterday, and. Our names are on the key cards for the San Antonio Payfax. Like, yeah. that is so, huge crazy. convention yeah. in Texas, and all the card keys have our wall wrap for all the podcasts here in the studio on the key card, which is a pretty cool thing. Yeah. Pretty good marketing idea. Yeah, for sure. Shout out to the marketing team. Yeah. Hopefully, next year we'll get to go. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but yeah, that's what Vinny was just saying. Yeah, maybe next year you guys can talk at Payfax. I'm like, Let's pump, <laughs> let's pump the brakes, Vinny. <laughs> but um, yeah, I know Vinny always uh always pumps us up, and yeah, we were talking the other day. He he had mentioned that Mikey and Big Bob had asked about our podcast at yeah. the Pens game. I don't know if that's true, but it makes us feel a little bit better. Yeah, about yeah, but we'll we'll just roll with it, right? Yeah. <laughs> but um, you know, uh, Dave actually told me this morning that he went to, I can't say the word jujitsu. Jujitsu. Jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu <laughs> for the first time. Um, but he went yesterday, and I didn't know where he was going. I had no idea he was doing that. I'm kind of upset he didn't ask me to go. Yeah, I would like to that would have been a cool activity yeah. for you guys. But um, he went and had mentioned to someone that was there where he worked, and the people were actually – it was uh, Dougie – I don't know if it was Dougie Boris, but someone that knows Dougie Boris, whether it's um, you know his daughter who – Workload. Best friend of my father-in-law. Yes, yes. <laughs> but um, crazy, the, the person was like, yeah, I listened to the Perks and Paving. So I'm like, okay, maybe more than like my family listens. Yeah. So. Stronghold in Butler County, let's go. <laughs> Yay, we got to start somewhere. <laughs> but uh, uh, so how's your week been going? This week, better than last week. Last yeah? week was a little crazy. Last week, we... It was a crazy week. It was a lot. We submitted all of our hotel chain jobs for that one particular client that took a lot of time. Yeah. Um, our other storage facility has requests coming in every day, it feels like, all across the country. So I always thought uh, when I started this job that summertime was always busy, you know, from what Paige had said. And I was kind of looking to a little reprieve, like mid-December, January. And I swear to God, I'm more busy than I've ever been since I've started working in this company. So yeah, there is no downtime. There is no yeah, relaxing. That, that's and, my favorite uh, thing when we're on like the, the weekly calls and they're like, yeah, take advantage of this downtime. I'm like... <laughs> I agree. I, there's like not really a downtime. If anything, yeah. it's just gotten busier. But yeah, which is great. We enjoy it. But yeah, last week was a little, a little busy. I mean, what did we submit? Four or five million dollars between. Like yeah. Yeah. So we were up till pretty late. Yeah. On Friday night, banging out some last minute ones. Yeah. So. Up till like ten thirty, eleven o'clock on a Friday night. So. Yeah. Married couple life for you there. <laughs> <laughs> but you did a really good job. So I actually had to go to. Um, Steubenville for a uh, event for one of my best friends and um, can't comment too much on what the event was <laughs> but um, so Mark kind of took over while I was gone to handle all the last minute stuff and then we did one last look through when I got home so that was nice that he was able to jump in and handle the stuff while I was out for a couple <laughs> hours so yeah. but yeah and we've had a pretty busy week this week too I mean yes. as far as stuff outside of work yep we got you set up a new. Yeah, that, that was my task for the week. So yeah. if we want to rewind. Two tasks. It, we had I had, two tasks I had this three week. tasks. Right. Uh, I had to rewind a little bit because. So for those of you who had listened in previously, I had said that I was making an appointment to get my oil change. <laughs> Um, but I meant to get my tires changed. So I called to get my tires changed. They said they couldn't change my tires, but I was like, well, I need my oil changed, so I'll schedule that appointment. Had to miss that appointment, 
and I just got around to making another one. But actually, the great thing, did you know that Valvoline, you don't have to make an appointment? Really? Where has this been all my life? This there's, is set up for me. There's this also a 10-minute oil change place directly in the shop in Safe Plaza by our house that's existed since we moved there, too. Okay. So the, these not things, a Valvoline, these, but these it's things right are, there. These things are all <laughs> new to me because my father changed my oil for the first 29 you, years of my life. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. But, yeah, so I went the other day, and you literally – well, I, like, pulled in the parking lot, got out of my car, walked in, and they're like, whoa, 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 what are you, what are you doing? They're like, you have to go on the other side. You pull right in. I, I thought I had to like go in, make an appointment, make the whole, you just drive right in. The guy has you roll down the window. You literally tell him what you need. He's like talking through all the options, going through all my air filters, got those changed while I was there as well. But they, they have like something underneath the floor where they can like change the oil. I, it's amazing. So you're a Valvoline girl now. I think so. Mm -hmm. I mean, for people like me that just, it's hard to schedule things. So oh, it trust me. Yeah. I so <laughs> it worked out really well that I was able just to go when okay. I had time. So checklist number one, yeah. oil change. Oil change number check two. completed. Um the second thing was to make a vet appointment for little Enzo. Our he little hasn't boy. been he hasn't been feeling too good. His, yeah. his little ears. If anyone has any ideas of remedies for angry dog ears, they're they're like the hair's falling out. He scratching. Scratching. So sad. But I don't. Do you think that is contributing to his bad behavior at night? I think that's part of it. Also, he goes a, a bit of a long stretch during the day solo. So I'm sure he's just real excited to see us and play. And we'll have to share a video at one point of. Yeah. I mean, Enzo, our dog, is a maniac at night, and he <laughs> he doesn't attack me. Or <laughs> when I say attack, like. He's being very kind. Like, he's not biting or anything like that. But Mark will pick up a book to start reading. <laughs> and literally, this is Enzo. Hold up a book. <laughs> he literally, like, knocks out of his hand. He gets so mad. And he cries and cries and cries and cries <clears throat> and cries some more. And then finally, Mark will go and, like, give him some more food, let him outside five more times. And then he's finally ready to go to bed. Yeah. But I'm sure that. I think it's just built up energy yeah, during the day. Maybe. Um, but he never used to do that. So I feel like it has something to do with his ears. And then um we're also making an appointment with um air Lauren ducting. and Danny who were previously on our show to get our air ducts clean. So that is gonna happen and it maybe could be a contributing factor to his ears. I don't maybe, maybe? I don't know. So yeah. but yeah all the things are done and just get to focus on work and gymming enough the rest of the week. That's right. And then and laundry, but yeah, the same laundry that's been in the washer since Sunday. I think no, it's still there this morning. No, no, I'm probably gonna have to rewash it if it's in there because I don't <laughs> even remember putting it in. But the starter of many, the finisher of none is what I like to call it. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so we were apart this weekend. Yeah. And you got to spend which, some time for which is rare for us. Yeah, and you got to spend the weekend with your nephews and your sister and your mom. Yeah. No, and my mom. Was she wasn't not, there. No, no, my mom was not there. Okay, just you and your sister. Yeah, yeah. How, how well, the boys that's doing? not true. Okay, she she popped in for like an hour. I forgot about that on Saturday. Her and my dad came, but um, it was just to drop off some food and hang out yeah. for a couple minutes. But it was mostly just me and Annie. Yeah, how the boys doing? They're doing so good. Oh my gosh, like they. I don't think they could get any cuter. I mean, I'm just obsessed <laughs> with all of them. They, it's from the photos, it probably like, I mean, I know there's photos and videos every day, but I feel like from week to week, the last three weeks, you can really start to see, I mean, two of them are identical, but you can start to see their individuality coming oh, and yes. presenting their own they personalities. They all have their own personalities. Walker is just like the cutest little thing. And his new thing is he just learned how to sit up on his own. And he, and he, he also doesn't smile without his teeth or not that he has teeth. I mean, he has a couple <laughs> teeth, but um, he like smiles with his mouth closed with his he sits there with his his hands on his lap and sitting up with the most proper posture and he's just content he just like is sitting so chill uh, so cute and then <coughs> Briar is you know pretty vocal getting you know he he's moving around in that walker and just he, he's gonna be rolling here soon as far as Walk, he's gonna be right behind Ridge, I feel like, with yeah. walking and stuff. So, and um, Ridgey, but Ridge's Ridge is gonna. Ridge took a couple steps this weekend. Yeah, I, yeah. 
So, I, w- I was getting in my PT mode, like, all right, come up here, hold the <laughs> balls. We put balls in both hands, and then I'm like, okay, come, come over here. And he would think about it, and sometimes he would take a step or two, but he hasn't really figured out how to uh, progress the, the feet with the things in his hands yet. So, so at this point of the three, who is going to be the most trouble? Who's going to be the troublemaker out of three? I, I think Ridge. And then who's going to be the most, who's going to be the biggest pushover between the three of them? Who's going to be the softie? Walker. Walker? Yeah. Oh, dude. Walker's my guy. Yeah. I feel like Walker's, me and Walker bonded. Walker's over a here. softie. He's yeah. yeah. He just, I, I think so. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think Ridge, I think he's going to be, like, the leader of the pack. And I, <laughs> I'm convinced that. He's going to get away with most things because his smile is just so darn cute. He has these two large dimples. <laughs> oh, if he just smiles at you, you're like, okay, and you're not in trouble you anymore. Know, speaking about our nephews and her, your sister's family, your sister has become more comfortable. Is that reached a point where she kind of wants to start telling her story and everything that yeah. she has gone through and what their family has gone through and starting to share the boys with the world a little bit more and talk to, I mean, you've been a huge influence on that. I hear the conversation. So kind of tell everyone about how that's going. Yeah. I mean, not, not that I have a following at all, but um, I just feel like she has such a unique story and she's verbalized to me that she's starting to feel more comfortable with sharing stuff. And so this weekend we, we took the boys on like a three mile walk in a stroller and they were just little angels. And I got some, live footage Mm -hmm. and uh helped her put together a little reel and um you know she's like well i think she's scared to share because she doesn't know who's going to listen kind of similar to us and i'm like giving her all this advice like oh don't worry like you know the the right people who you know will feel in you know like your message speaks to them and um you know someone's going to be impacted by your message someone's going to be able to learn something so don't be afraid to share and the people who are interested will follow and the other ones won't like that that's as easy as it is you know and i'm thinking to myself i should <laughs> take my own mm-hmm. advice because obviously i feel like that's been a little bit of our struggle on the show there's always an open invitation angelina to come oh. on the show and launch your brand so. yes angelina <laughs> she already said she would be willing to come on but okay. it's just a little bit hard um but we now can bring, there's room for all three strollers in here we can put in, oh there's not three strollers <laughs> there's, three, there's three. like a cadillac yeah. stroller it's like yeah. one stroller with three spots yeah. for baby so. yeah we can so. park right over there it'll be fine they probably would be yeah, let's get a little camera time yeah a little microphone yeah right <laughs> but um no we're definitely gonna get her on eventually and um if anyone wants to give her a follow, if anyone, uh, you know, has, you know, preemie children or is thinking about having children, just kind of seeing all those the, in the NICU still. Yes, or? those in the NICU. I think she's going to be a huge asset to, <laughs> you know, people going through that and just kind of being able to connect with someone who's been through something similar. So follow her. Her name's on Instagram, A.M. Mincer. So for Angelina Marie Mincer, A.M. Mincer. Check her out. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, but that was the first time we've been apart. I mean, with us working together and, you know, living together, <laughs> obviously. I mean, we don't really have much time apart. No. Um, we just had our three year anniversary. That's right. Isn't that crazy? Wedding anniversary. Yeah. Wedding anniversary. Yeah. What, what other anniversary would we have been talking what's about? Our, what's our anniversary of becoming a couple? Our dating anniversary is the Sunday after Thanksgiving. And when did I propose to you? Um, not Friday the 13th in March. It, so it was the 12th. The <laughs> yeah. Right. So like the week before COVID became COVID. Yeah. 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 So, um, but yeah, we, we didn't really do too much this year. We, we don't typically do a ton. We usually just make dinner together. That's like our, our thing. Yeah. Um, and for Valentine's day, that's usually our thing. Yeah. Like we make a really seafood nice seafood pasta. pasta together. That's every spend, year. spend time together and we love cooking. So that's usually our go-to, but this year, we got to go to eat with our family and we didn't really mention that it was our anniversary yeah which was fine super delicious though oh yeah <laughs> what was the name of the place um I don't mm, remember. capris capris yeah in yeah. the end that was great um but my question to you is i mean we didn't care that people didn't wish us an anniversary because it's our anniversary right do you th- like do you get offended if someone doesn't wish you a happy Not anniversary? Not at all. Like, it's really, 
It's not it's not of anyone's business. I don't want to put it that way. No, but but like but you're not like upset if someone if no. someone says happy like, anniversary. I feel I, like I have several friends whose wedding anniversaries I will reach out and text them for. Yeah. But mostly because I have reminders around the house. Like whether it's a koozie for <laughs> yeah. our friends in Cincinnati, my other really good friend Donnie and his wife Rebecca, their wedding anniversary is a day and a year after ours. That's extremely easy to remember. Right, right. Um so yeah. I don't I don't find it offensive if someone doesn't remember our wedding anniversary. Right. I'd find it offensive if you didn't remember it. That's, but. <laughs> yeah. No, I would never forget. No, it's not something I expect in yeah, a friendship just, or anything. I'm just curious if you want to <laughs> drop in the comments and let us know, is it uh, something like if, if uh, you know, a family member or child or, you know, someone that was I wish at my your parents a happy wedding anniversary because they're and that's another easy one to remember. It's a week before my birthday or five days before. My right. Birthday, so. I, I guess I'm just not good at anniversaries and, you know. Sometimes people in my family, <laughs> my my mom, uh, she's like, oh, you don't remember my wedding anniversary. And I always feel really bad. It's I don't remember getting that text this year. I'm but sorry, so. yeah, no, 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 it's it's fine. And I'm OK Just with kidding, that. So. No, I'm OK with that. No, she <laughs> she said that she she knew that's why we were going to lunch. That day. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's fine. We had a really nice time. Seems like we only celebrate like big on even anniversaries, so like maybe this coming one yeah. will will be a big we'll go one. Back, we'll go back to Cancun or Dominican yeah. Republic this for, year. Yeah, for for last last or two years ago, we went to Cancun and had our first anniversary reception. So That's awesome. yeah, if anyone's looking to do a destination wedding, highly suggest you do it because we would have done that had it been yeah normal times. But and you can reach out to Laura Zuluaga for any travel yeah. needs she's gonna be on our show too eventually yeah right shout on. out to lauren juan yeah, yeah. but <sighs> all right so super bowl's coming up who's your team i think that the chiefs are definitely gonna win because they have so much support from america right now um and when you say that i know you're referring to taylor swift but i just think it's hard to keep patrick mahomes down even though 49ers i think are a better overall team i just think yeah that, i think so i think defensively how many times have the better. Chiefs won the Super Bowl since Mahomes has been? They've won twice. Okay. He's going for back to back, and he's also lost to Tom Brady. And how many times has San Fran and the Chiefs been? They matched up. We they matched up in a Super Bowl when we were in Florida at Ryan's. So they played. I think in 2019 they played. Okay. And they were one throw away from losing. Yeah. They Jamie Garoppolo overthrew a receiver, and that could have won the game. Yeah. So. So what what are your thoughts on all this? The Swifty. News. It's not her fault. I just want to say something. My wife yes. is a huge Swifty. Yeah. Huge. Like the number of times that we've watched Reputation Tour on Netflix late at night, having people over it is a bit embarrassing at that point. However, it's and not it's, her it's fault. It's removed from Netflix. Yeah. Now, it's so. not her fault that the camera keeps panning to her in her own private box. Yeah. I, I am on her side for that. I, I get that. But I think generally speaking people don't care anymore or like want to see again it's not her fault yeah it's not her fault for being in a place that she paid for and has should have some privacy but i just think the viewing audience gets fed up with the constant panning jesse am i wrong on this so have you seen the numbers to uh how much money she's brought to the nfl she, i was trying to explain she, this last she night she is assisting the nfl <laughs> well the conspiracy she, theory is that like this is like going down a rabbit hole but like the nfl is the biggest sport in north america right now yeah and how do you get bigger how do you grow your audience of something that's the most popular thing that will dominate any ratings thing and you bring in a mega poop uh, mega pop star i was like poop <laughs> <Mega> <laughs> I, was pop like, star I was like she's not poop she's all the greatest. hundreds of millions of fans and guess what like there he goes. Ratings are up and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, well, but if you need to bring in Taylor Swift to do that, I mean, by all means, she's your... I don't your... think they needed her to do that. Well, I just think that she if was If they a... needed more viewers and and that's the, the path that they chose, I mean, that's a very great strategic path. I mean, I would have chose that too. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of it... Um, so I think the numbers were around $350 plus million plus that her alone brought to the wow. NFL. Um, and you know what? It's, it's a genius marketing strategy on both ends i yeah. mean taylor swift is one of the all-time greatest uh you know i wouldn't say i'm a swifty fan but oh uh, come on uh, but Jesse. i would <laughs> say like I, I recognize and appreciate like the level of uh marketing and how she does yes. her, like how she moves as a uh not only like a popular pop artist but a um you know a businesswoman yeah but merging with the nfl i mean it's all strategic and very smart because 
what's maybe the one group of people that doesn't appeal to like you know from the nfl like right what group does that how do we to? increase our women demographic exactly yeah. and especially like the younger women demographic oh, because sure. now there's these accounts that are like there are swifties watching chiefs practices yeah <laughs> you know i That's see these nuts. clips it's hilarious yeah. they're wasn't like, she potentially going to be the super bowl halftime show I, I don't know if she turned it down I think she or if she was down. in consideration yeah i think uh I, I'm not 100% sure because I think what would happen anyways, regardless, is it'll be like a game time decision to build a lot of hype just because these two entities are so intelligent in marketing and business um, and in their fields. So I think regardless, whether she does or doesn't, just the, the conversation is huge uh, in itself. And I mean, she just shows the power that she has yeah. on the world. Like, like my it's thing, insane. Yeah, I feel like that's great. And if like that's the long term plan, like, Travis Kelsey's probably got what three, four more years of like high level, like high good level. play. So once he retires, then they have start to dating an, someone else, or no, like, they're gonna have to come up <laughs> yeah. with another strategic plan to to hook their audience. Yeah, and they might need a there's movie. someone, maybe there's someone else <laughs> at that point that is as great as Taylor Swift, but we'll just have to wait and see. But I mean, she's not really getting that much airtime. Oh. People are literally livid mm -hmm. about her being broadcasted, but. I mean, she's probably getting what 30 seconds total i mean they're literally zooming in she's cheering and then they're back out i mean right. it's not like she's getting five minutes of airtime. it's definitely tough i guess because you got to think about like the the polar opposites in demographics you know yeah. like there are some people that are really looking for that time to see her and then naturally you're gonna have people on the polar opposite that are like yeah. please show us anything else yeah. you know what i mean yeah. and to be honest like somebody that doesn't really like follow celebrities like myself um i i don't mind it i i understand it honestly from yeah. just a business standpoint and i don't think she's I, I think what would be a real big problem is if she was rubbing it in yes. you know what i mean yeah. if she was really utilizing this to like milk the time right. you know i think that'd be a different conversation but i do appreciate how she's handled it i mean yeah. she like like mark sure. was saying she can't help it so. right yeah. and, and the other thing too it i don't have a problem with her them painting at all what i have a problem with is the discussion about it going to her i don't right. care yeah. that they go to her if it's a like there's what 40 seconds on a play clock between an nfl play like uh -huh. what are we gonna, okay they're gonna break from the view of the huddle to go like look up after a big play i don't care yeah. i just hate the conversation about people getting mad over it right yeah. that's where i'm more yeah. upset about yeah, yeah. i agree I'm not yeah. upset I agree. You said that she might 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 not even make it back though. Well, I think I think that yes. she has a show in Japan mm -hmm. and like the hardcore Swifties are like doing the math to figure yeah. if she leaves <laughs> That's if she insane. leaves like Japan like right <laughs> after the performance, she can like catch the tail end of the game or something. I don't uh -huh. know. I, Dan Levitard podcast, my favorite podcast in the world. Mm -hmm. They talk about it like all the time in the Swifties and stuff like that. So credit to them for having the conversation. That's where I got that from gotcha. when we were talking about it. So they're gonna get her there. Like, oh, I'm sure they, they will. They, it, I'm sure it they'll just like, make sense. Even if the NFL like does a delay or something <laughs> oh like that, just God. to make yeah. sure that like they, yeah. <laughs> they like drop her in from the. Even though I think it's sky. a dome, yeah. a dome in Vegas, that they'll figure out like a weather delay or something. Oh yeah, that'd God. be interesting if there's some sort of delay. If that happens. I mean, or like they have a hard time you, like getting you, ushers think, like set out yeah, for his halftime yep, show, yep, and that yep. delays it for like a forty. Like, do you think I know that there's like super detailed bets about like how long the um, oh, I'm sure. national anthem oh. is gonna go? Like, do you mm -hmm. think that there's gonna be bets on Taylor Swift? One hundred percent. When will she enter the stadium? Will she be there? At it'll all? be. It'll be. How many times will the camera pan to her exactly. during the broadcast? Uh -huh. Over exactly. under. What's yours? What do you think? If she makes it, if she doesn't get there till the second half. And it's like a tight game mm -hmm. and they're going back and forth and like oh dude but if she gets there let's just say for the second half on yeah at least 10 times probably 10? i'd say that the line would be 10. Ooh. especially if travis kelsey's making catches all over the field they're gonna go That's to her every factor. single time every, mm -hmm. every time he drops it every time he catches it yeah. mm -hmm. so we should we should uh put are you, some are you giving me permission to gamble on the super bowl mm -hmm. right now no <laughs> no <laughs> You are All not. That hard no, work. <laughs> it's understood that that's uh, that's one of the few sports events that we get to gamble on every year. Yeah. yeah. What are the other? That one in uh, Kentucky Derby. Kentucky Derby, and then there's one golf one, I think. Uh, every golf major, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. The Masters is specifically. Yeah. So, I think if we get more than ten viewings of Taylor Swift in the second half of the game. Oh no. Oh my God! You're gonna that turn this we, around on me that, like that? that we <laughs> share with the audience. Mark's he, 
So I, Mark brought me to the Reputation Tour in Miami in whatever year that was. I don't remember. It was the most epic concert ever. And Mark didn't really know any Taylor Swift before we left, but he was vibing that night. Yeah. Hey, okay. he, yeah. Hand up. He there was, was going. There was and also, I have footage. There was, there was also a married couple next to us. Uh-huh. And the wife couldn't have been more excited to be there. And her yeah. husband was a miserable yeah, mess. Yeah, so you were happy for Paige. Like, you're a good Sitting husband. down there, like, yeah, you're good hand, man. On, hand on his, on his hip like this. That. And I was like, I'm not being that Yeah, guy. that's a that's And a I'm going to be the exact move. opposite of that guy. That's a so. good Oh, move. he was. He was exactly opposite. <laughs> and I have the footage. So if we get more than 10 viewings of Taylor Swift in the second half of the show... We'll post it. Yeah, I got one for you guys. Okay, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna give my input on this. Yeah. One. So we have to figure out, you know, what the details are, but I think, I think one of the bets should be, you dress like Taylor Swift and Mark dresses like Travis Kelsey. Oh, one, one episode, we okay. get you a Chiefs jersey. Maybe get you like. Can a, we like uh, sing a song too? Whoa, and... whatever whoa. you guys want to do. It's just you <laughs> have to you have to film the show. You dressed as Taylor Swift. Do I have to act like Taylor Swift? Uh, For a little bit, at least. Just for a little bit. Okay. Just for a little bit. Yeah. (laughs) Maybe the intro. Maybe, maybe you know, you sing the intro or something. Yeah. (laughs) All right. (laughs) And Mark spikes a football. Sounds (laughs) great. I'm down. I don't know what the details are, but uh, that probably sounds more of a losing end for Mark. (laughs) 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 It sounds great. Love that. I don't know. What are your Super Bowl predictions? Chiefs or 49er? Chiefs. Chiefs? Yeah. By how many points? I think one touchdown. I think it's gonna be close. I think it's gonna be close. Yeah. Okay. Jesse, final prediction. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna say the Chiefs because I, I, you know, Mahomes is just unstoppable, yeah. and with the Andy Reid, like it's the new version of the Patriots. They say so. that they're like Bill Bel, like conspiracy theory. Bill Belichick just like didn't take the Atlanta job or didn't. I mean, uh-huh. he had multiple interviews, but like he's waiting to see if Reid retires so that he can just like slide in. Uh-huh. I think that'd be sick. That you know what? I think that would just. He has such a unique legacy that that would look like he's he wants to. Bu- I don't want to say he wants to build something, but he needs to continue his greatness. And if he walks into a situation like that, I think that would be you know maybe a asterisk on his uh, yeah. legacy. But yeah, I think it's going to be the Chiefs, and I think it's going to be close. So I'm thinking either a touchdown or a field goal. I think it's so. going to be like a storybook ending with like a game winning walk off touchdown hope, to Kelsey to like end the game, mm. and then oh, like Taylor so starts there waiting for him. Yeah, and then they yeah. kiss, and then he proposes. I heard he was putting together. Uh, a unique- do you think? Do you think he's going to put? What do you think? No, thinking? but I, I did hear. <laughs> I did hear inside scoop that he is designing this unique ring for her. Oh, right it's going to be crazy. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. Are you excited about all of the albums and potential movies that this love story is going to bring? Oh, of course. You're excited for it. Are you, so are, have you been here? Like, are you uh, about, the, like, what's your view on this situation? Is it something that you're, like, following closely and you're excited? Or is it, like, because I kind of want to get that perspective. I can't say I'm following closely, yeah. but I'm here for it. But you're enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, okay, I'm cool. enjoying Yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's most of the time because, like, kind of how we said – I watch the football games, but uh-huh. I'm not like eyes locked on the screen yeah, the whole time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and Mark will be like, "Oh, look, there's Taylor Swift," and by the time I look up, she's gone. Uh-huh, so, uh-huh. but yeah. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be more involved with for that them. level of excitement every time too. Yeah, I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh she's gone. <laughs> so they but, need yeah. to do. Uh, there, there needs to be like experiments and like data that's pulled from this. I mean, once oh. the once this dies out eventually. Like there are going to be case studies about this. Like, how did this all come about? Yeah, like, yeah. like in, a decade from now, it's going to be taught. In yeah, like it'll be a marketing one hundred and one. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. So we'll have our own chapter, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. all right, well, that was a cool episode. That was. I'm glad you were thanks down for, for. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, I'm glad you were down <laughs> for just hanging out with me for how many minutes are we on? Uh, like twenty eight. Little under. Yeah, about twenty eight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say that's Perfect. a good number. Yeah. All right. Well, if you tuned in, thanks for joining us. And we'll be back for another episode next week. And we can recap all this Taylor Swift drama. All right. Thanks, for thanks guys. Us, guys. We'll Appreciate see you next it. week at 8. Love Bye. you guys.